Hello. So my message of today is you can both be a coach and a student or a coach and a player, whatever uh, metaphor you want to use for that. Um, I will take myself as an example. Um, I am 40 and I know that I'm kind of middle of the road. I have accomplished some things. I've ticked some things off of my milestone list and I still have a ways to go. So what does that mean? That means that my story, um, the paths or obstacles that I have taken, maybe I can help somebody out. I can be big sister to somebody. But the fact that I am still young means that I know that I have a lot more path to take. And I know that having women or people that have gone before me are still valuable. So at any point during the course of your day, your week, um, the next five minutes, you should be coachable, meaning you are open for criticism, critique from a loving place. And you can be a coach from a loving point or just by being an example. We all have a, a position to play and we all play several positions during the course of a day, which is cool. So with that being said, how you create your village doesn't necessarily mean that that is your only path for growth, but it can really help expand what you don't know. Um, an example for me, um, I share from my lane of expertise, which is health and fitness. As I'm growing into mommyhood and being a wife, I share what I know from that perspective as well. I do not, I, I, um, I don't know everything about cooking. I try, but if I need some help, I know that I have go-to women in my contact list that I can um, ask. If I need to ask a question about um, business, I know who I can go to to ask. I have people who know that they can contact me because I have a lane that I um, fit in even though I'm constantly expanding my knowledge base. So your network is a vital, a vital, a key piece of your growth. Um, and like I said, it's not the only thing that tells. But you need people in your life that are willing to tell you when you could be better. You have to trust that the people that are around you, that you have put around you, have your best interests at heart. Like, um, example, um, I could do something better or there is, um, like, no, I'll use an example from the fit fitness perspective. Somebody is not doing squats that well. And it's not like you're going to really hurt. They're not going to really hurt themselves, but they could be better. Or somebody isn't doing push-ups that well. And no one has ever corrected them. So they just continue to do push-ups incorrectly. Well, if you have never had anybody lovingly or helpfully critique you, then it might be a challenge and your, um, your first mechanism might be defense because you know everything but sometimes you have to learn how to put that defensiveness on the back burner you won't grow unless you are willing to accept some critique and when you know a lot of stuff when you're a smart person sometimes you think that you know everything you do not know everything it is literally impossible so we all have the opportunity to grow. And if you put yourself in the right position and you create a network that has your best interest at mind, then you open up your, you just open up your life. And then the little sisters, the little brothers, the cousins, the people that are watching behind you, they get your growth opportunities as well as you navigate and become more successful so that is my message for today be well namaste